So at the onset, let me congratulate uh, Shakti Foundation for inviting me to address, to kind of uh, give my thoughts on, the, on this World EV Day. So electric vehicles are, of course, that is a reality now. It is up and running all over the world. And it is one of the biggest global disruption of our times. Decarbonizing transport sector is a major, major priority. More so in Indian context, if our transport is responsible for, say, in if uh, India is responsible for, say, 7% of global pollution, and within India, 14% is being contributed by transport, in which, of course, 80 to 90% is by the road sector alone. So decarbonizing transport sector is one of the, one of the most uh, focused and it is a top end priority for the government, for the citizens, for all the thought leaders and opinion makers of the society. Now, we are taking electric mobility in a big way. There is a national mission on transformative mobility and battery storage at Niti IO. And we are working with a, with a kind of mission mode. But still, there are a lot of bottlenecks in EV adoption. Now, probably maturing of technology is one. The availability and access to finance is another one. We need to still go in for more of awareness. That is the third piece. And of course, charging infrastructure, which needs to be proliferated of the right kind at the right, right location all over the country. Now, we have developed a uh, a kind of a handbook on charging infrastructure. We are very much alive to the, to, the, to the anxiety point that charging infrastructure has to be there. So on one end, while the OEMs are trying to evolve vehicles which can run with one single charge more and more distance, at the same time as a top up or maybe a terminal kind of charging uh, infrastructure is being developed. So government is working into that spectrum. Private players are also working into the spectrum. And let me tell you, precisely this is the task of the, this is a business. This is an opportunity for the industry. Therefore, charge point operators will have to play a key role in propagating, in developing, in taking forward this charging infrastructure. Now, affordability and access to finance, that is a, definitely one of the challenge more so in the two-wheelers and the three-wheelers, where the, the, the credit worthiness of uh, user is not all that strong. So access to green finance for the users and also access to green finance for the manufacturing people, that is equally important. We are working with a number of multi-bodies, uh, multi-banking financial institutions, and a lot of those institutions who are willing to work into the spectrum and see to it that how a line, a dedicated line of credit, along with that, a kind of a first loss risk sharing instrument that can be combined so that this entire, that the finance challenge with respect to electric mobility is taken care of. As far as electrification for freight is concerned, freight can be of two types. One is within the city movement of those uh, uh, kind of uh, zero pollution delivery kind of things. And the second type of freight is that of the, the heavy duty freight, which runs primarily on the highways, the trucks. So that is another area which needs to be taken care of. But there are three, four pieces to that. First is with respect to the technology. The technology must be robust enough must develop confidence, must generate confidence. That is the first thing. Second is that uh, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the freight segment, the economics part has to be taken care of. And finally, it is again awareness. 
people must be made known the owners of the trucks especially the 10 tenors and beyond they must be made known that it makes a good economic sense to be into to be kind of uh, taking uh, and accepting the uh, the electrified uh, freight vehicles so that is another piece i am sure we are gradually moving to that area it will take it will take some time but definitely the way our track record has been india's track record has been that though we have initiated it late but in india we have taken to electric mobility in a completely structured way and in a very very fast forward manner and that is quite visible in the two wheeler segment in the three wheeler segments and also in that of public transport especially buses so thanks a lot thank you again thanks again to shakti and all the partners for taking this initiative on this world ev day and i'm sure that by the time we celebrate the next ev day india would have moved many many miles ahead on this electric vehicle adoption trajectory so congratulations and thanks a lot